Hi, this is Will Wild, and uh, in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about tongue blocking, uh, what it is, and how to do it. And then I'm going to show you a little cheat that I use to get that tongue blocking sound without actually tongue blocking. Um, so, let's start with the basics. Um, if you were going to play hole number two um, as a lip purser, obviously you just make your pucker around hole number two and play the note. Uh, if you were tongue blocking, however, you'd cover holes one and two and then put your tongue over hole one. So you're actually going to play number two at this side of your mouth. Now why why would you do it like that? Well, there's a couple of uh, a couple of reasons. The first is that it changes the tone. Um, you get a bigger, fatter tone the further into your mouth the harp is. Um, and if you think about it, when you're puckering or lip pursing, the harp's right at the front, and when you're tongue blocking, it's much further into the mouth. So uh, I don't know if you can hear the, the difference in the tone if I compare the two for you. It's not a huge difference, but it's certainly warmer when I'm uh, tongue blocking. So that's one reason, tone. Uh, the other reason people use this technique is uh, it lets you create that vamping technique that you heard me doing at the beginning. Uh, to do that, you just move your tongue on and off of hole one. So you're going from a chord to a single note and back again. So it gives you that vamping sound, it's good for shuffles. Um, you can use this all the way along. Uh, for example, if you're going to play hole number three, you'd cover holes one, two, and three, and put your tongue over one and two, and you can do that all the way up. get that shuffle sound. So that's uh, that's tongue blocking. Um, obviously there, there are other things you can use the tongue for like octaves, um, flutters, different tricks and trills and things. Um, personally I don't use um, I don't use tongue blocking in my style of playing when I'm playing single notes. Uh, the only thing I really use it for is for octaves. Um, so, the the reason why I, I don't tongue block is just because I was self-taught. Uh, I'd never heard of tongue blocking, I didn't know about it, so uh, I never did it. Um, but I came up with my own technique to uh, create that vamping sound that people associate with tongue blocking, uh, but while still, still lip pursing. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, if you're going to play hole number two, you start off with a pucker, and then you open your mouth up to a chord, and slide back to a pucker again. So you're just opening and closing your mouth. And it sounds very similar to the, uh, the tongue block technique I showed you before. So here's tongue blocking. And his lip pursing. So it's not a huge difference. Um, again, there's a slight difference in tone. Uh, the tongue blocking variation is a bit more percussive uh, because you've got the sound of the tongue slapping on and off of the of the harp. Uh, so. You know, it's up to you. You might find lip person works best for you. You might find tongue block tongue blocking works best. Uh, try them both. Find out what what you prefer. Um, overall, I prefer to pucker or lip purse just because it gives me more freedom to move around the harp quickly. Um, if you're playing a lot of fast runs, like. Um, <laughs> 
If you're going to do stuff like that, um, and you're having to, if I was having to do all that out the corner of my mouth with my tongue there, I just couldn't do it. It'd, it'd be too uh, too difficult. It'd slow me down too much. So that's why I prefer to lip purse. But uh, each uh, each technique has its advantages and disadvantages. So that's that. Um, if you have any uh, questions, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, if there's any videos you'd like me to make, uh, let me know. I'm planning on doing a few more of these. Uh, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. It's Will Wild. And uh, please check out my band and my original music at willharmonicawild.com. There's a link below. Cheers.